Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to go over the Bicyc Toasting games panel and show you all of what your server has to offer once you buy a Bicyc Toasting server. This games panel is used for all our game servers except Java Minecraft servers and allows players to get the most out of their experience. To log into the Bicyc Toasting games panel, you can either go to games.bicyctoasting.com or you can choose the panel button on the home page and choose the other games button. You will then be greeted with a login screen. If it is the first time you've logged in to a Bicyc Toasting server, you will have the login info within an email that gets sent once the server is purchased. You will use this email to input the username and password and log into our Bicyc Toasting games panel. We suggest after logging in for the first time to go to the top right and go to the account and update your password here. Once logged in, you will see a list of all of the servers you have for Bicyc Toasting. For this example, we are going to use our Arc server. The first screen you will come to is the console screen. This is a very important screen as you will see your server at a glance. To the top left, you will see the name of your server, whether it's online or offline, or the status of the server, how much RAM it is using, and how much of the percentage of the CPU it's using. Below this is a connect to server button. If you see this button, you can click it and it will go to a video showing you exactly how to connect to your Arc server or any other game server. Below this is also the IP and port that you can share with your players that they will use to log into the server. Below here is the server type. This will just show you exactly what you're running and it'll have the start, restart, and stop buttons that you can use to do so on your server. Below here is a server update button. This will be used if you would like to update your server to a newer server version. And then further down is your memory usage and CPU usage. Above there is your command prompt. You can use this to type commands on your server for anything that you would like to run directly from the console. Now we can go to the startup tab. This is an important tab that all of our games panels are going to have, and this will vary depending on which game server you have. For this one, you can choose the server password, admin password, server map, the amount of players that you allow to have maximum, and various other things that you can change on this menu. Regardless of what server you are running, these changes will be run automatically and will take an effect the next server restart. So keep in mind that any change that you make on the startup tab will be saved automatically, but will not apply until the next server restart. Next is our file manager. Here is where we can go into our files and edit any files we would like. We can upload files, we can create directories, create new files, and move files to where we need them to go for our server. This is a very important feature for the file manager, and it is very powerful to use to make your server really stand out among the crowd. Next is the config dropdown menu. Some game servers have this and some don't. For Arc, we do have this config dropdown and you can choose Arc settings, which will take you directly to the game user settings .any file that you can use to edit any values that you would like for your Arc server. This can apply to various other servers that will also have this dropdown menu that you can choose to edit the config files here. The next tab is the Arc cluster tab. This is obviously specific for Arc, but you can go in here to create a cluster or connect to a separate cluster. Then we have the mods tab. This is a very helpful tab if this is enabled on one of the games. You can just automatically install a Steam Workshop mod here by inputting the Steam Workshop ID and choosing install. This makes installing Steam Workshop mods as easy as a click of a button. We then have the database tab, which you can use to create databases and edit your databases that are already on your server. The next tab is very important. It is the backups tab. Here you can download and restore any of the daily backups that happen automatically on your server. This is an incredibly useful tool that you can use to fix any problems that you have on your server by downloading and restoring a save from prior before those problems occurred. The next tab is the schedules tab. This schedules tab can be used to create tasks on our server, like restarting the server every so often to make sure that the server is running smoothly. Next is the users tab. This tab can be used to add new users to your server and allow them to edit the files so various players can help on the server. This is perfect if you would like to add admins or other co-owners to the server so they can work on the server as well. Finally, we will go over the settings tab. This is an important tab because you can do a few different things. 
Firstly, you have your SFTP details here. You can use this to log into an FTP client if you would like to upload larger files that our file manager cannot handle. We also have the debug information and you can change your server name here. Changing the server name is not going to change it on the server itself. This is just for the Bicyc Toasting Games panel so you know exactly what your server does in case you have multiple game servers that you need to keep track of. Finally, we have the reinstall server button. This is perfect if you have problems with your server and would like to completely restart from scratch. You can choose the reinstall server button and you can choose to keep the current files or delete the files and you can choose reinstall and that might fix any problems you may be having on the server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.